Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be listening to interview experience for Qualcomm's hardware engineer position. We have Swati with us who is pursuing ME in embedded systems from Bits Pilani. So let's begin. Hi everyone, I'm Swati here. Uh, I'll be sharing the interview experiences of Qualcomm interview. The entire hiring process for Qualcomm was as follows. Uh, we had an uh, online written test conducted in Hadgrove platform, followed by two technical interviews, uh, each of approximately 45 minutes, and a HR interview. The written examination was conducted on online platform Hadgrove. It had uh, three sections each with 20 questions and it had a sectional cutoff of 30 minutes. Three sections were a general aptitude followed by technical aptitude section and C programming section. In the general aptitude section, uh, we had questions on basic uh, work time and uh, data interpretation questions. The data interpretation questions were quite lengthy. So solving them, uh, should, we should manage the time for that. And the second part, which was technical uh, written test, for that we had questions on digital electronics and um, few questions on uh, amplifiers, uh, oscillators, and basics of uh, CMOS circuits. The last part, which was C programming, had uh, like questions on write the output for a uh, few of the C quest uh, programming questions. And the concepts focused majorly on pointers, arrays, and structures. Uh, for preparing for written examination, the first part, which was aptitude, uh, preparation for that was from uh, solving aptitude questions from sites like India Bakes. For data interpretation, uh, we can practice problems from any site. But uh, while writing the exam, uh, it is time critical, so uh, time consideration should be made for preparing for digital questions, gate concepts, uh, including basic digital concepts like multiplexers, decoders, flip-flops, and uh, solving previous year gate questions for digital. For C programming, um, preparation from Geeks for Geeks site, reading uh, C concepts, as well as some of the exceptions in C, and uh, working on C MCQ sets. Overall, uh, uh, since it was uh, conducted on Hydro, you can practice on Hydro's uh, previous year sample papers, which provide certain aptitude questions as well as C programming questions. Hmm. The first interview round for Qualcomm was uh, 45 minutes duration, and it would focus majorly on embedded concepts and C concepts. For the embedded concepts, uh, in the beginning, I was asked about uh, how C code gets translated to hardware and on details like uh, uh, embedded compilers and linkers. Then I was asked on how uh, embedded code compilation process, the entire process if I could say. And then later it was based on uh, C. In the C part, I was asked to write coding questions for pattern generation uh, using stars. They had a platform to uh, code, so on that we had to code in C. The questions asked for a generation of uh, right angle triangle and isosceles triangle. And then later on, I was asked uh, concepts on um, storage classes and uh, qualifiers of C. More details on uh, volatile and static and how volatile and static keywords are used and where they're used in embedded code. And then I was also asked on embedded application concepts, like what will be the design considerations for interfacing a sensor, I2C or SPI to a processor. And at the end, I was asked if I could uh, give some details on how I debug a code in a project or anything. The second uh, technical round was also about 45 minutes duration. And uh, this round focused majorly on digital electronics questions as well as HDL questions. 
in the digital electronics part. Initially, I was asked about uh, multi vibrators and the different types of multi vibrators and their applications. And later, I was asked on uh, designing uh, logic circuits and functions using multiplexers. And then, um, and then uh, uh, questions on AMBA um, protocol and its specifications and versions of AMBA architecture. And uh, in the HDL part, I was asked uh, questions on difference between fork and join and concepts of uh, tasks and functions and how they're used. And since there was a platform to write the code, I was asked to write code snippets for uh, uh, blocking, non-blocking statements, synchronous, asynchronous reset. And then uh, this round also, I was asked questions on C. And here it was majorly on array-based questions and C puzzle-based questions. And um, the later part of the round, I was asked questions on uh, general puzzles. And here uh, the focus was on how to solve the puzzle. I was asked three questions on puzzles. Uh, overall, I would say uh, the round focused on digital and uh, HDL. Uh, the HR round was uh, very short. It was like for 10 minutes duration. And in this round, I was just asked on uh, why Qualcomm and what I could do for Qualcomm. And later I was also asked about if I have any location preferences and if I am uh, uh, okay for relocation and uh, how I work with teams and how is my uh, managing with teams and things like that. So basically it was just a very short round, only for 10 minutes. For uh, preparation and for interview as well as for written, uh, digital is the major portion of the interview as well as written. So preparing for digital uh, thoroughly would be very beneficial. And in digital, uh, studying basic uh, gate concepts from books like Morris and Mano, and also solving previous year gate questions and detailed solution and approach of solving digital questions would be uh, better so that you can answer even the interview questions on them. And uh, the later part which is very long. For uh, very long, uh, you can study the concepts from books like Padmanabhan and Samir Bhankar. Uh, also uh, focus more on advanced uh, concepts in very long, uh, including fork, join, task, functions, and all those concepts as well. And also on, uh, focus on how the very long code is implemented on hardware. Uh, those will be beneficial for tests as well as for interview sometimes. And then, um, uh, and for just studying very long, wouldn't be that beneficial because uh, practical application of very long would be more useful. So if you have to uh, apply very long concepts, it's better to write very long code. Uh, you can use uh, uh, sites like HDL bits where their exercises starting from basic Verilog concepts to the complexity of FSNs. So coding on that platform would be useful. Uh, for preparing for VLSI part, major preparation in VLSI is for a static timing analysis. And this you can prepare from a VLSI expert site. And preparation on uh, VLSI architecture, um, basics of uh, this course is processor if you have done anything on that. And uh, and more details on architecture, you can study from digital design from Harris book. And uh, for uh, preparing in embedded uh, related concepts, uh, the entire process of uh, embedded code compilation well, it was uh, very well taught in this Boulder University uh, course, which I attended from Coursera. It was embedded system design from uh, University of Boulder. You can go through that. And um, uh, learning and knowing protocol specifications and details of uh, I2C, SPI, UART, and such basic protocols. And also ARM architecture. Uh, since I was asked on AMBA bus, so uh, studying ARM architecture would also be uh, useful. Preparing for uh, C. I prepared majorly from Geeks for Geeks website, uh, reading certain C concepts, as well as solving the MCQ sets from Geeks for Geeks. 
and uh, for preparing for uh, uh, general puzzles. I didn't prepare much for that, but you can find uh, questions from uh, interview bit site. You can practice certain questions for uh, general puzzles from there. So overall, I would like to say when you are preparing for interview, uh, read the concepts in depth and understand the concepts, not just uh, see questions from previous interviews and just uh, read the answers for that. By doing so, you will be more confident in answering as well as you will know if they ask more questions on anything. And then while giving the interview, uh, stay confident. And I guess they majorly focus on the approach. So uh, you can uh, manage if you know the concept well. And then I would like to wish everyone all the best.